Hello, this is the old guy. Today we're going to talk about dual gain and picture profiles on the Sony cameras and how they compare from video to raw files. And we're going to take the A7 IV as a reference because that's one of the newest sensors from Sony. And we're going to test it this way by putting on a cap and then we're going to crop it like this, the picture. And turn on the exposure and the contrast all the way down, the exposure all the way up and the saturation all the way up to. Now we're going to roll through the ISO in Cine 2. The reason why I'm going to start with Cine 2 is because the base ISO is actually 64. And that might be uh, nice sometimes in RAW files to get a lower base ISO. And rolling up the ISO you see 250, you get the second native ISO. But this kind of shows us that the gamma profiles, the picture profiles, are affecting the raw photo files too. And you can use this to, to your advantage. Especially on a bright and sunny day, you can get a native ISO at only 64 with one of your fast primes. Now let's look at the no profile from the A7 IV. Going through the ISO range, we can see that at 400, you get the second native ISO and the noise uh, cleans up. So by now we can, we can see that gamma curves and dual gain are true for raw files too. It's not only for picture profiles and video. It's true in raw format too, also for pictures. Next, we're going to look at the S-Log. And this is a 10-bit camera, so S-Log would be most people's preferred in video but what about in photos not many would use the gamma profile for photos but maybe it has its advantages especially in low light let's see the noise in s log seems different from, from the other two profiles that's because uh, the contrast in s log is turned way down to make the picture flat so you see the noise doesn't get as much color and you see by 3200 the noise cleans up again now let's look at older sensors does older sensors from sony have dual gain too and only tested the normal profile let's look at the a7 III this will show us if the raw files have dual native ISO too. Let's check it out. The first native ISO at 100. Rolling through you see that the noise gets worse and worse. And then at 640 it cleans up again. And like on the A7 IV we get an example of all the ISOs beside each other. For more knowledge around the ISO gain from Sony cameras and how they work compared to all the Canon cameras, go to Dan Fox's YouTube page. I'll link in the description below. It's expert knowledge delivered in a way that makes it accessible for normal people. And lastly, an even older sensor from the CVE10, only in the normal profile again at ISO 100. Already at 100, you see noise. And going through the ISOs at 320, the sensor cleans up. Actually, already this old sensor shows dual gain or dual native ISO. Going through the ISOs further, and you get an Example of all the ISOs beside each other, like the other cameras. So you can watch 
how the isos behave besides each other. What this test shows is that uh, raw files are actually affected by gamma curves. The dual native ISO are both relevant in photos and video. And maybe as a photographer, you should experiment with the different profiles. Bye from the old guy.